Today's video is brought to you by my wonderful patrons with a huge shout out to Cam Boyle, Christy Woodard, and Matt Lane for joining the executive producer tier on my Patreon. I literally would not have been able to do this video without you, so thank you guys so much. Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman, and today we're going to be tracking down the best taco in Pensacola. A few months ago, I asked the local online Pensacola community on Reddit to nominate their favorite taco places in the city. I then compiled my list of which restaurants to visit from that. Even though I'm telling you this right now, I know I'm inevitably going to get people that are going to tell me, Holden, you know you should have gone to this place. They really have the best tacos. Oh, Holden, you missed this one restaurant over here. Why didn't you go visit that one? There are dozens upon dozens of different taco places scattered throughout Pensacola, and I had to get my list down. Do you want to pay for all these tacos? then shut your cake hole. But on the off chance you do want to help me pay for stuff like this, consider supporting me on Patreon. It's a great way to get access to exclusive content before anyone else. I do giveaways and some other perks on there too. Now, when we started filming, I tried to have a control group. I wanted to compare one soft shell taco and one hard shell taco and compare those two types against every restaurant. But by the end of it, what I found was that not every restaurant served hard shell tacos and not every restaurant had beef tacos. The result was that we would order beef and sometimes we got the closest thing to beef that they had. We're also taking into consideration the atmosphere of the restaurant, how the service is, how you feel while you're there, price, that sort of thing. When I did the best pizza in Pensacola and the best burger in Pensacola, uh, the top three and four were all pretty close in competition. This is the first time that the spectrum has really ranged from really bad to a very clear winner. But keep in mind, the opinions in this video are subjective. If there's a restaurant I visit that you think should have placed, that's cool. If there's a place that I didn't visit that you think should have won, that's fine too. I'm just going off the experience that I had in this video. And that's it for me. Please enjoy the best taco in Pensacola. Six hard shell beef and six soft shell beef. I thought the environment was great. Service there is always really good. The taco seasoning was in a little bit of, it could have been a little bit better. On a scale of one to 10 for me, it was probably about a four. So not, not, not really good, Savage. but not great. Savage. The meat maybe could use more seasoning, but the cheese is amazing. And that's what a lot of people look for in the area. I feel like are in the world is cheese. It was really good. When I think Pensacola, I think of Hacienda. I think it's been here pretty much since I was like, a little child. They actually have one in Pace. When I went to Pace High School, that was like the happening spot. I don't know what the kids are doing now out there, but you know. Anyway, our general consensus was is that the tacos were very, very good, both the hard shell and the soft shell. The only thing was is that the meat itself was a little bit bland, uh, but it was almost made up for with the cheese being so good. Didn't quite make up for it. Very good, reasonable price, great atmosphere. You know Hacienda. I'm looking forward for what's to come. Even just getting out of the car, you, always, you just get hit with that whiff of like fresh food. It already smells so good. So the thing about this place is that it was one of the best taco places like in the country. It was like the fourth best. It's also like way more affordable than we thought. It was like for three tacos and three bottled water, it was like seven bucks. So not bad. Also one of the most authentic places. They don't have hard shell, so we only got soft shell at this spot. So we'll pass around and see how we all like it. It smells really good, the meat's better. I like this green soft shell. I live in San Antonio for about four years, so I have a good feeling about what a good taco should taste like. And I gotta say, this is really close to authentic Mexican tacos. I concur. I just wish I could put the meat into the shell and cheese across the street. That's just me though. I am more of a flour uh, biased person though on tortillas. I've featured uh, this restaurant before about a year and a half ago in a Hidden Gems restaurant video I did. And it's just as good now as it was then. It was absolutely amazing. It's gonna be tough to beat, but we'll see. We got a couple surprise uh, places on here that you might not have ever heard of. So uh, we'll see. Moment of truth. Yeah. Their meat. 
It was really good. Mm. What do you have doing? This might be the best meal we've had. I figured these tacos were going to be good, but they exceeded my expectations. It was really good. Beef tongue, ladies and gentlemen. That's tasty tongue. I figured it was going to be good. I just didn't expect it to be that good. I would definitely come again and get it again. Yeah, so we'll do three and three. I'll just get a water this time. I really like this experience so far the best. I like the atmosphere. Tacos were fantastic and the prices were really good. It was one of those situations where I wish that you could take the meat from Tacos Mexicanos and put it with the stuff that they put on it here. I think you would have a, a really winning formula. I think I've liked Tacos Mexicanos beef the most, but I really like their type of hard shell and soft shell. And I really like the stuff that they had on it. It was really, really fresh. It was really, really good. We still have a few more places to go. Um, some of them may surprise you. Let's do it. Here we are at Tacos El Amigo. This is one of the places that I had never been before, so I'm really excited to give it a try. It's so good. It's very, very good. Mm. I always love a restaurant that creates something tasty with simple ingredients. They did the shell, the meat, a little cilantro, and some sweet onion on top, and that was it. It was really flavorful, it was filling, and you know, really nicely priced. People were really friendly too. I think it's one of the better taco places that we tried, in my opinion. I think this one was actually better than um, El Asador. I think it was very, very good. I know that that shot's fired because El Asador is like ranked really, really high in people's opinion, but I think the meat just, it was just more flavorful. I don't know what to tell you, it just was. This set the bar pretty high. I think it's gonna be hard to beat. Fitness, but I'm more proud that I'm a part of the Harmony, so you should subscribe. There was some kind of a mix-up where we all got hard shell, even though we had asked for one hard shell, one soft shell. Language barrier, I guess, so all of us have hard shell. That, we'll just, that's okay, I guess we're only gonna review hard shell. Okay. okay, we might cut up the two soft shell we got Wait, and try those. Everything okay? She was like, you're good? You're good? Okay, bye. Kind of wish I could, could have got a soft taco, but that's all right. It's not bad. I think cactus flowers taco overall is better. I'll say it's not here. This tastes pretty good to me. Have you had any other tacos? I have not had any other tacos. <laughs> it made it, absolutely. That's the best part. Here we go. Similar to the hard shell, standard issue ground beef, standard issue toppings. You know, your babies, you know, nothing too nothing crazy. fancy. Just wait. This almost makes you want to dine and dance. So they got here like 30 minutes after us, ate, paid, and left before we just got our checks back. Uh, we had an interesting experience. I just want to talk about the taco itself. It was just very ordinary, normal taco. It wasn't bad by any means, but uh, you know, just a taco. Uh, the experience, I won't dig too deep into them, but this is this has probably been the um, the worst service. This was the most challenging to enjoy. <laughs> we were here for two hours. <laughs> uh, I'm not a so soft taco guy, but I actually like the soft taco. I thought it was better than the crunchy taco. Most of the time it's not that, as slow as it normally is. It's probably just a one-time thing. And we had one waitress. I mean, maybe she was strapped. Maybe she was busy and we didn't see it. It did not look like that, but maybe, maybe it was. We know that um, we had a large party. There's a little bit of a language barrier, but even, even aside from that, it was just a little 
what, what's the word? Lackluster. There was just something missing, and we waited for, like Craig said, it was about two hours. We had two tacos a piece and some rice, you know? I was just really disappointed that it took so long to get the check. I've never had that happen Food before. checked everything. Yeah. All right, we'll see you at the next one. <laughs> All right, so we're here at La Mexicana Restaurant. It's a grocery store and a restaurant uh, kind of combined in one. I had never heard about it before, but from what I understand, it's very, very good and a, a bit of a hidden gem in Pensacola. So I'm really excited to try out their tacos. This place feels really authentic. We'll get the tacos, obviously, but I'm really curious just to try some other stuff. Like, I have no idea that this place is even existing. The most authentic Mexican restaurants are the ones where the Mexican construction workers go to eat because it's the most like home. Yeah. Thank you very much. Visually, it looks a lot like um, El Asador and uh, Tacos Mexicanos, that more like traditional type of taco. Yeah? Wow. So mm. awesome. Give that meat a taste, my guy. It just explodes with flavor. It's like soft, and you tell this beef's been cooking for hours. Pensacola Christian Academy milk chocolate. <laughs> They'd probably be too mad at me if I tried to incorporate it, because that video I did a while ago. We went down to Burger King. We figured we might as well give their taco a try. The guy told us that they just discontinued them, and they're just working through like the, the, the amount that they have already. I'm glad I'm getting this now. Cheers. 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 All right, now we're going to Taco Rock. I really like the atmosphere of this place. It's really nice. I like the decoration a lot. Inside, it looks very uh, homey. So, what do you guys think of the taco? Pretty good. It's, yeah. All the tacos here are good. I mean, you got the, what, puffy tacos? Puffy tacos. Yeah, I'm talking about What was yours? Fish tacos. Yes, sir. Fish tacos? Yeah, I like shrimp tacos. All around. Kids meals are bomb, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good here. Give, give it a try, guys. It's pretty basic to me, honestly. Something you can make at home. We just got done at Taco Rock. It was all right, it, it was a taco. So we kind of came at a interesting time. There was like a bunch of people that had a big rush. It didn't seem like they could take the rush. The customer service is very lackluster. We waited like, it felt like, like an hour, honestly, for the sopapilla and uh, it was overdone. As far as the taco goes, nothing special. We asked those ROTC kids, I guess they go to Tate High School, what their favorite place was and they were like very adamant that it's Taco Rock. So take that into consideration. Maybe our tacos just weren't seasoned as well as theirs or something, but they really liked it. For me, it's just another taco place. I thought it was good, but it wasn't, not as good as some of the other places we've been, I'll say that. All right, now we're gonna go deliver the trophies for the best tacos in Pensacola. And if you're wondering why I sound like this, I'm getting over being sick, so that's why. In a world of tacos, one restaurant stands above the rest. So this time I'm not doing the award ceremony. We're going to come to these restaurants and deliver their trophies in person. One of the top three restaurants that serves the best taco in Pensacola. None other than Tacos Mexicanos. Let's go drop off their trophy. I'm doing a, a video on the best taco in Pensacola. Of our list, you guys were in the top three. Nice, awesome. So I wanted to do drop off a little trophy for you. Oh, thank you, man. That's awesome, man. Thank so, you. What's we'll, we'll, your name? Holden Hartman. Holden, Kyle. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Ooh, man. We really appreciate that, guys. Yeah. That went well. Good. Tacos El Amigo, one of the best tacos in Pensacola. We're going to give it a runner-up award, one of the top three best in Pensacola. Let's go drop it off. We got to go get the, the manager or the owner. I'm doing a video on the best taco in Pensacola. All right, thank you, man. And your place is the top three best. All right, So thank we you, wanted man. to give you a trophy, just drop it off in Hello, person. Man. We came, uh, sure. we came a couple weeks ago. We tried it out and we loved it. And All so right, thank you, man. There you go. Okay, you're very welcome. Thank you, man. Appreciate okay, it. Bye bye. And now we're here at the restaurant that serves the best taco in Pensacola. None other than La Mexicana. Come on, let's go give them their trophy. Hey Hola, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. Hey, we're going to award you. 
best taco well, thank in Pensacola. You very much. That was very steep competition. No, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate so, it. That's for you. Hey, well, we're also going to stay. We're going to get some tacos. Yeah, too. of course. Thank, thank you very much. You're very yes, welcome. Appreciate Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. The top three were all authentic tacos, but it came down to the explosion of flavor from the meat. Take a look at my original reaction. We've had some good tacos so far in this video. To me, this is the most flavorful one yeah. we've had, and it's not even close. <laughs> it's very good. One of the best tacos I've ever had. Let me know your favorite restaurant in Pensacola to grab a taco, and if you haven't already, make sure to check out La Mexicana and let them know that Holden sent you. Leave this video a like, it helps my channel out a lot. Consider subscribing for more fun content like this. And as always, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Take care.